Hey y'all, it's me Sonia. So today I'm going to be telling y'all how I got this wig. This is the wig that I wore to BTS concerts in Chicago. She's really bright, she's really out there. Um, I really actually love this color, the color of this. And so if you're interested in how I got this wig to look like this, then just keep watching the video. All right y'all, so first thing, the hair company that sent me this wig is called Hair Spells. Um, I was looking for some wig companies that had uh, bleach blonde wigs, so 613 color wigs, and they emailed me and they said that they would send me a blonde wig to try out. So yeah, thank you Hair Spells for sending me this wig. Um, I will show y'all what the wig came in. Okay, so the wig just came in this bag. It's just like a purple drawstring bag. And the dye that I used to get this color I actually used three different ones. They were all from Arctic Fox. And um, the main color is Electric Paradise. And then I also used Porridge, I think it's called. Just a little bit of that. And I also used a tad bit of Virgin Pink. Yeah, I just mixed those. I don't have like a ratio to give y'all. I just mixed them till I got the color that I wanted. You don't want to put too much virgin pink in there because you want it to stay like really neon looking. Well, I wanted it to stay really neon looking, so I didn't put that much in there, but I wanted to darken it a little bit. So that's why I added that. You don't have to add that if you don't want to. Um, But yeah, and this is how the color came out. It's super bright and like natural light. It looks bright on camera, but it's like even brighter and natural light, like in the daylight. I look like a pink highlighter. Um, which is cool, but like a lot of people would like stare at me, which is uncomfortable. <laughs> um, but yeah. So if you don't want to get stared at, don't dye your hair this color or your wig this color. But also do what you want because you can do what you want. Um, but yeah, now on to the hair. So I have mixed feelings about this wig. Now I don't have a wig cap on. Um, I didn't wear a wig cap when I installed it. When I was in Chicago, I just jumped my hair back and like put makeup on my hair because I was not, I couldn't do, I tried to do like the ball we kept thing, but it wasn't working out. So I just took that off. I was getting so frustrated because I couldn't make it work. So I just ended up putting makeup on my hair and it worked out fine. Um, it looked okay, <laughs> as good as I could make it look. Um, it was still pretty clockable, but you know, all my wigs are clockable. I'm not an ex a wig expert, so all my wigs look kind of crusty when I wear them. But you know, that's kind of my brand is like terrible wigs. <laughs> so yeah, um, when I got the wig, the only my only complaint is that the frontal was like really thick and fake looking. I did pluck it a little bit more. So it looks a little bit better, but I need to still like fix it and, and straighten it and stuff once I install it again. Um, but there was like like huge chunks of like these short little hairs all on the frontal. I'll try to see like this. There was like giant sections of like hair that was really short, which is annoying because like you have to pluck most of that out or it'll look like super bulky so i still need to do a little bit of that to make it look better and like it was hard to dye the frontal because it was so thick so i missed some spots i don't know if y'all can see but yeah that's like the only complaint i have about the hair it's just like the frontal was too thick um but yeah i believe this wig is 22 inches it's either 22 inches or 20 inches i'll put it in the description um, I could trim the end because they're a little wispy, but I kind of want to keep the length. I think it makes it look more natural when it's like that. So I don't know if I'll cut them, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this wig. But yeah, I got tons of compliments on this hair. Um, I would recommend hair spells. The hair is really nice. It's really soft for being like bleached processed hair. It took the color really well. It's not patchy at all. And um, the spots I missed was mostly my fault because I be really in pain trying to color wigs. I colored a wig blue. It took me like two days. I was, it was not a good time, but yeah, I have a video on that soon too, hopefully. I have a coupon code for $10 off. I just found it's 55262. So use that code at Hair Spells if you want to get you a blonde wig to color. I will go ahead and show y'all like a close-up of the wig cap as well. Okay, y'all. So 
here is the wig cap construction very similar to most wigs most lace front wigs that I've tried has two clips or combs on the side and then one comb in the middle at the back there was also lace and another comb and then the adjustable straps of course and here's a better view of like the frontal hopefully y'all can see that you see right there is where I kind of missed the spot it's just really thick right there see looks kind of weird that's like the the only thing that I don't like about this wig and I don't know if that's like the knots but it looks really the knots look really big in that area too so that's kind of strange also when I was coloring this wig helpful tip is I used that got to be spray and I covered this the whole frontal so the knots wouldn't dye pink that way it looks a lot more natural when you put the wig on so try doing that if you're gonna try to color a blonde wig and a natural color or any color honestly it really helps a lot um but yeah that's a the wig i really like her she's one of my favorites one of my favorite wigs i'll be taking her to my other trips as well okay and yeah this wig is 22 inches so She's really long. She goes down to about, yeah, she's like all the way down to my lower back. Very long, very cute. Yeah, and that is this wig. So yeah, um, that's all I have to say about this. Let me know if y'all have any questions about this wig and I'll try to answer them. Just comment, um, thumbs up if you like this video, thumbs up if you like this hair color. I think it's really cute. It's um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it and thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one.